My name is Selassie Jami. I am a filmmaker, I'm a Ghanaian, and an Ewe. I remember family trips to the beach and picnics, and also um, I remember celebrating Christmas at home. <laughs> My first dream was to be a musician. I wanted to be a singer and also an actress. But I soon learned that those careers are not really supported. And so um, eventually I decided I wanted to be a, a psychologist. Uh, after secondary school, I applied to uh, study in the UK, to study psychology in the UK. And I was very excited. I got, I got accepted and I was moving abroad for the first time. So it was a very interesting time. But unfortunately, when I got there, I started struggling with my mental health. And it was just a combination of things, being in a new environment, um, being the only black person in a lot of the spaces I was in, and also my existing, my pre-existing mental health issues. Everything just came to a head and I had really serious issues and I couldn't continue my studies anymore. So I had to take a year out and come back to Ghana. And even during my year off, I wasn't really able to make a lot of progress. And so I decided to actually drop out of the course. And that was when I decided to apply to film school. I had always wanted to do something creative. You know, from the beginning, I wanted to do music. And I, I spent a lot of time just on my own while I was like severely depressed watching films. And that was the only thing that helped me to feel better because I could focus on something else. I could be in a different world for a few hours. And I really loved the beautifully composed images, the music, the stories, and I felt like I really wanted to be able to do this myself. And so while I was taking my year off in Ghana and trying to figure out what to do, um, I decided to take a, a course at NAFTI. And actually it wasn't supposed to be what I ended up doing, it was just supposed to be temporary to fill my time. But after my first semester, I realized I really enjoyed film and I was actually really good at it. It didn't clash too much with my mental health. It, I was able to manage it while also dealing with my crises. And so I just thought it was the best fit for me. When I'm depressed, I, I feel like there's no hope in life. I feel completely drained. I have no energy to keep going and doing the things that I need to do in order to be in a level mood. I, I lose interest in my favorite activities. I have trouble sleeping and staying asleep. I just feel tired and I don't want to continue. The thing about depression is it affects everyone, regardless of your social situation, your class, your religion, your background, your race. So there are always things in life that can trigger depression. Things like childhood experiences, trauma, discrimination, bullying. And everyone experiences these regardless of who you are. I don't think depression is an expression of a lack of strength. In fact, the people I know who have mental health difficulties are some of the strongest people because it takes a lot of effort and energy and focus to keep fighting, to keep doing the things that you need to do to stay healthy. And so I think people who say people who have depression are weak are just ignorant. I don't know that I'm battling depression more than I'm battling life. For me, life is the issue 
or my life experiences are the issue and depression is just a side effect of that struggle. So for me, if, for me, the, the issue is, can I have a happy life? Can I be successful? Can I get the things I need? Can I heal my trauma? And my fear is that I won't be able to heal my trauma. My fear is I won't get the things I need to be happy. And if I don't get the things I need to be happy, then depression wins.